What's the relationship between a job interview and the sales process? Well, the interview, in my opinion, is a sales call. Don't think of sales as a dirty word. People are afraid of sales. A lot of people don't like sales. But when you really think about it, going into an interview, you're selling yourself. You're trying to get them to say yes. You know, you're the salesperson, the interviewer is the customer or the client. So I often talk to my clients about the interview as sales 101. It's basic, fundamental sales skills. All right, this is a real shift from the way interviews used to be conducted, isn't it? Well, in the old days, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, it was mostly like an interrogation. The interviewer would ask questions, you would answer. They'd ask you another question, you'd answer, and that was the whole interview. Mm -hmm. That's not how it is anymore. Now you have to go in and be ready to articulate your value in a very compelling way. So you are really making a consultative sales call? Is that what it's about? I think that's a great way to put it, yes. So you're going in as a consultant rather than a job seeker. Is that what you're saying? Well, yes, because it's all about them. It's all about the employer. What do they need? What's their pain point? What problems of theirs are you going to be solving? You've got to be able to sell yourself as, again, the solution provider, the person who can meet their needs and make their business more successful, more profitable, more efficient, more productive. All right, so if it's a sales call, and, and uh, I used to be in sales, so I remember one of the big things about sales is preparation. Mm -hmm. What can you do to prepare before you even get into that interview to well, make that call? preparation is the key word. You want to do a lot of research, get to know as much as you possibly can about the company, about their history, their mm -hmm. product, their service, even perhaps about their interviewers, the people who will be speaking to you. Another thing to think about... Wait a minute, stop there. Yeah. They're interviewers? What, how do I go about finding out about the interviewers? Because before the interview, you can ask the person coordinating it, mm -hmm. whether it's the HR representative or someone else in the administration of the company, ask them who you're going to be meeting with. That's a very reasonable question. And that means that then you can do some research on that person, maybe learn about their history, where they've worked, what are their hot buttons. Then you can come in much, much more prepared, not just with knowledge of the company and their products and services, but also about the people. All right, so you're going to prepare for this sales interview. What if I'm someone that's really not into selling, that I don't feel comfortable, I, I'm it's really distasteful? How do, how do you coach people to really feel confident and go into it like a sales call? Well, preparation is key. We create tools, for example, the accomplishment stories. If a person knows their accomplishments and can tell those stories very clearly and succinctly, mm -hmm. that level of preparation makes them feel more confident, more secure. In addition, this is not heavy-duty selling. This is more like a conversation. It's a give and take, asking questions, getting to know the employer and the interviewer better. It's a dialogue more than it is a heavy, pushy sales process. That's not what this is. All right, so you're really saying focus on it's all about them, right. about their needs. Their needs, their problems, their challenges, really showing genuine interest, getting to really understand what keeps them up at night. And what types of questions or what types of things can I do in the interview to uncover the needs? Well, those probing questions. This is a dialogue, you know. It's not a heavy-duty, high-pressure sales call. It's a conversation showing genuine interest in their problems and needs, asking questions to get below the surface, asking questions like, tell me more about that, please, or that sounds really interesting, can you please elaborate, or how do you mean that exactly, or what solutions have you tried that maybe haven't worked and why do you think they didn't work? So you're in this consulting mindset, asking probing questions, getting below the surface, and you're also sending a message, which is, I really care. I really want to understand what your concerns are. That goes a long way in an interview. So it's really listening, asking questions, and then trying to meet their needs. How, how do I demonstrate that I can solve their, their problems or meet those okay. needs? Good question. So when they tell you about a particular need or problem, you should be thinking about accomplishments that you've had in your previous career, in your previous work history. And you can bring up some of those accomplishment stories and tell it to the interviewer, tell them to the interviewer as 
examples, as proof, as evidence. The interviewer is wondering, can she do what I need? Can she help me? Mm -hmm. If you have solid evidence, proof, in the form of your accomplishment stories, then you will convince the person that you might be the right candidate for the position.